Hey guys, it's Steel Age Deer, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. While there are plenty of amazing glitches in this game, I want to cover the most famous glitch, the fourth day. Since the 3 day cycle is this game's backbone, being able to break out of this is huge. It isn't the most difficult glitch either, so let's get into this episode of Game Breakers. If you're familiar with the fourth day glitch, the method you most likely know is using the telescope in the Astral Observatory on the night of the third day. Sit inside of it until the timer runs out and then mash B to quit. The moon crashing cutscene never plays and you're now in the fourth day. While this technique does work, if you mess up it's a long wait in between attempts. Luckily there is another way of getting the fourth day to activate. Head into the astral observatory and play the song of double time until it's the night of the second day. If we walk near the old man he'll force us into a conversation, but if we run towards him and pull out the ocarina before he can pull us into it, we're able to play a song. Perform the song of double time to advance to the dawn of the final day. Once the transition is over, the old man will speak to you. Go through his text and agree to look into the telescope. Now mash B so you exit the telescope as soon as possible. When we exit and close out of the text, we're now in the fourth day. But what exactly did we just do? Well, the old man was supposed to talk to us when we walked over to him earlier, but we interrupted it by pulling out the ocarina. When we played the song of double time to advance to the next day, there was also no transition image. Instead, the old man began speaking to us because we were close enough to him. Because of this missing sequence, the game gets confused as to whether it's the night of the second day or dawn of the third. If we were to stay in the telescope, the game will play the moon crashing cutscene like we ran out of time. Which is strange because we technically should be nowhere near out of time yet. My best guess is the game merged the two scenarios together of the night of the second day and the dawn of the third to push us all the way to what could have been the dawn of the fourth day. And yes, I know that sounds weird, but it does make sense. When you play the song of time or song of double time, the game sets it one second before that time. So the transition and the other text can take place. So there's a chance the game made it one second before the transition to the game over cutscene. By entering the telescope and closing it immediately, we interrupt the moon crashing cutscene. This is exactly what the other, more popular method of getting the fourth day does. If you exit the telescope right before the moon crashing cutscene, it prevents it from ever occurring, sending you into the fourth day. I could be completely wrong with the reasoning on this alternate way, but hey, at least we're in the fourth day. So now that we're in the fourth day, there's a lot to look at and explore. For starters, the timer at the bottom is completely gone, but while this does look like it could be helpful, you can't really progress the story of the game as most events won't trigger now. So really the only thing we can do in the fourth day is explore. Upon exiting the observatory, if you look up you'll notice the moon isn't there, but if you keep going up you'll be able to see all the way up in the sky. There is a theory on why it's up so high. Majora's Mask was supposed to have a 7 day cycle but it was cancelled early on. I'm assuming because of the limitations of the N64. So people believe that days 1, 2, and 3 in the final game were days 5, 6, and 7. This would explain why the moon is higher than we ever see it during normal conditions. But again, that may not be the case. Anyway, when entering Clock Town, most of the residents are gone. The first day music plays, but the only people around are the guards and the dog. Upon entering the clock tower and speaking with the happy mash salesman, he displays a random character as the time left. Speaking of which, I advise you not to play the song of double time as this will softlock the game. The game tries to advance you, but it doesn't understand what day it is, so it displays nothing. Strangely though, if we go back into the Astral Observatory and speak with the Scarecrow, Dancing with him will actually advance us to the next day, but it will read the dawn of the new day when it transitions. This normally only plays when you beat the game. Doing this doesn't really change anything as the moon is still in the same spot. Another interesting thing you can do is visit the mayor's house and play out the cutscene. Every NPC but the mayor is invisible but they still speak. However, as the conversation ends, the game softlocks. As for correcting this glitch state, resetting the game is the most common way. I tried using the song of time to go back to the first day which seemed to work fine too. So what's the fourth day glitch in Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask? I didn't show off everything you can do while in it as the video would be way too long, but I did highlight some of the cooler things. If you're interested in the glitch, I'd recommend you do some exploring and see what you can uncover. But that's all for today's video, if you enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe. There's some more glitches in this game that I might have to come back to, but for now, I'm gonna get up out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, see ya!